Niagara District was very, very important uh, as a social center um, when it came. Prior to that, all the kids went to NFCVI. Um, but I played basketball at uh, Niagara District and it's where the dances were and everything else, which will lead me to something else. I should go back as a youth. Um, the Boys Town was very big, which was held in the commissioner's quarters out on the commons. And it was a much bigger structure than they've knocked much of the building down. And uh, we had boys down there and we'd go and play floor hockey. I remember that very much. There was a little carpentry shop. They'd teach you how to make things. So that was very, very important. And then as I got older, that was where we had the dances for the kids. Okay, and that was a big deal, of course, back in those days. I mean, I don't know whether anybody even dances anymore. I guess they go to clubs today. But as high schoolers, um, we would go to Har we would go there. We would go to Harmony Hall. Um, that was in the Circle in Chautauqua. There was a big building, and they would have dances at Harmony Hall. I think the Chautauqua community sponsored those. And the other place, of course, was the town hall. Uh, the main hall upstairs was a gathering place, and I remember the sororities and the fraternities, of which I was one, the fraternity, and uh, we'd have dances there. That was a big deal for the kids of those days, because you didn't sit inside and watch TV or that <laughs> didn't exist. Uh, I do remember we had one of the very first TVs in town. Um, because all the neighbors, we moved our furniture out of our living room and brought in just regular, you know, stackable chairs and all the neighbors came in and watched the coronation of the Queen, I think that was in 53. And uh, on this TV screen, which was probably 12 by 14 or something, <laughs> but I do remember that, that was a big deal. To this day, I don't turn the TV on one month to the next, but uh, one thing I do remember is the TV first time I ever saw TV was at Connolly's. They had a TV in the window and we kids would go from Parliament Oak down two blocks and all stand there with our noses pressed to the window to watch Howdy Doody. I remember that we would all be, you know, how many deep to watch that, which leads me of course to the uh, Brock Theatre. That was a big deal in those days to see all the various movies, the westerns and, and uh, we would, there's a wonderful picture painted by Shaw, which is held by the museum actually. Captain Shaw painted it and it shows all the kids out in front of the theater. And I'd be one of the first ones, I'd be down there. You'd be down there an hour before the, and all line up and all that sort of thing. Yeah. 